So vanilla Minecraft has definitely made improvements over the past couple years. It's definitely not even the same game it was a year ago, but there's still room for some improvement. And while there are a lot of different mods and add-ons you can put onto your game to change it, add different blocks, add different functionality to blocks, introduce new mobs, that is all nice, but I still think we're missing one simple thing that should be included with the game ASAP. So how many times have you been wandering around Minecraft whether you're just wandering through a village, you have just wandered away from your starter base, you're lost in the woods, you're lost underground, you're stuck in the nether, you're stuck in the new caves, and you've just ended up walking yourself in a huge circle and you have no idea where you're at. Me, only me, that, that, that's only happened to me. No, it's happened to everybody. And so there's one mod that can be installed that alleviates all of these problems, and that mod would be some type of minimap. And so you can see I have a mini map in my top left hand corner. This is Zero's mini map, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. Please forgive me if I'm not. It is a pretty simple mini map. You can see the terrain, and you can see a bunch of dots. The dots would be entities. It's not telling me what the entity is, entity is, it's just saying that there's an entity in that field of view. I just think there needs to be something added other than the already vanilla maps that we have that gives us some more functionality and that is dynamic and that can change and that. You don't have to carry around 15 different maps for wherever you've traveled over the world if you want to keep track of yourself. Now, yes, you can take screenshots of your coordinates or write your coordinates down, but hey, this is 2022. We don't need to be doing that anymore. Now, another thing you can do is you can teleport to these things. So I can teleport to the mansion. And here I'm inside the mansion. If I want to teleport to the spider spawner, I'll teleport to the spider spawner. If I want to teleport to the zombie spawner, Please don't be zombies. I'll teleport to the zombie spawner. This is actually extremely dangerous to do this because there could be mobs in there. And so that's as easy as that is. Now you might say, hey, that's kind of overpowered. We need to slow the roll down a little bit. Well, maybe not. So we have this thing in Minecraft called beacons. We have large beacons and we have small beacons. And I think the beacons would be an excellent way to set up waypoints and teleporting in some fashion or another and so we also have ender pearls in minecraft we have regular ender pearls we can toss and then we also have eyes of ender which you throw them they lead you to the end portal there's no reason why these couldn't be used as some type of currency to travel back and forth between different waypoints uh, in different beacons and so I don't know, I think it's a little bit much to ask to do a full beacon to enable a waypoint. So either have it where you can do a smaller version of a beacon just to get a waypoint or just have the beacon by itself, but then it's not shooting up in the air. So it really doesn't look like much of a waypoint, but I think beacons are the way to go as far as setting up waypoints and teleporting between waypoints. And so the idea would be use an ender pearl or some recipe that's crafted with an ender pearl or maybe something with an eye of ender you add something to it like redstone or whatever and you use it and you either get to have this pop up where you can select where you want to go or it just kind of uh, puts you to the closest one i don't know exactly how it would work but the idea would be you can select where you want to teleport to and then you teleport right inside of the actual beacon itself. So as you look around, you can see you're inside of the beacon, which I think kind of gives a cool effect of like you just got beamed down from wherever you were, and then you can just walk right out of it. So let's try beacon two. This is a beacon that we have over here in this gravel area with some pumpkins. So we just got teleported right inside of it. This is just a gold beacon. I just, it doesn't really matter what materials you would use. I was just using different types of material just for the sake of it. But okay, all right, I'm done with being over here. So now I want to go to the village by the sea. That sounds very scenic. So let's transport to that. And here we are at a village that's beside the sea. Now this one doesn't have an actual beacon base underneath of it. It's just the top of the beacon, uh, which technically this is the beacon, but I consider the whole thing um, the beacon when it has all the materials underneath. But as you can see, there's nothing shooting up from this one. So it's not as cool of an effect. So um, maybe requiring that you have some kind of base for the beacon. That way you get the actual um, waypoint shooting up into the sky. I think that would be kind of nice. But I think this is a nice way to incorporate this to give further functionality to beacons 
and to make it make a little bit more sense to be able to teleport between waypoints. So I've kind of presented my argument for why we should have this mini map, how waypoints could work and how teleporting could actually work and how it wouldn't be game breaking. You would have to earn your teleportation point. There is one thing that I do, do think needs changed. If you look up at the mini map right now, you can see all of the different caves. That's a little bit cheaty because if you're part of Minecraft is exploration and just finding things. If you dig something out, I definitely think that should show up on your mini map. Like you can see where I've branch mined all up and down this little area right here. But you can also see where there's lava pools. And you can see if I get rid of this dirt block, that's not the right tool. You can start to see different pockets open up in the mini map where there might be some caves or maybe where there's some spawners. That's actually how I found these spawners here because they showed up as squares on the mini map. It was kind of a dead giveaway. And so I think that needs changed. If we're going to implement some kind of mini map system, all of these open caves showing up on the map shouldn't be there because that takes away a little bit of the ex exploration aspect of Minecraft. Plus, it's it just feels a little bit cheaty. And so there's really no reason not to add something like this to the game. It's overdue in my opinion. And if we can have things like flying machines or even like things like elytras, shulker boxes, where you can have all kinds of crazy storage setups, we should be able to make some kind of configurative crafting recipe for a dynamic electrical redstone powered mini map of some kind or just have it built into the game. Right when you start, you have a mini map. You don't even have to build anything to get access to it. I think it's something like this is needed. It definitely helps me because I know if I don't, I get lost all the time. And it's and if I forget to take waypoints or write down my coordinates, it's just a nightmare. And it just takes a lot of the fun out of the game because next thing you know, you're lost and you don't know how to get home besides dying and losing all your stuff. And that's the last thing you want. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Again, I think the mini map should definitely be added to Minecraft. I think it doesn't break the game. I think it only enhances it. And if you guys have any other suggestions or you disagree, you think something else should be added instead, let me know down in the comment section below. Oh, uh, are you for real right now, horse? And so thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like. Also subscribe if you are interested in more Minecraft videos. I have a single player Minecraft series going on on this channel as well as more tutorials coming in the future. So thank you all so much for watching. My social links are down in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.